Hello YouTube, Liz here. Today is August the 5th, 2019, and I thought I'd come on here and show you some of my finished objects, a uh, whip, and um, a few other little things that I made. I have some yarn acquisitions from today, so here we are. I'm a little rattled because of the events in, in El Paso. I'm a Texan and um, born and bred on my whole family is from Texas and from here in Arizona we've gone through El Paso many 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 times getting to go home and I love El Paso and you don't see El Paso unless you get off the freeway it's a whole other world it's color and life and just such energy I just love it and um, it just I don't know it just it's just hurt so much to watch the news and know what's what happened and the thing that that's hard when I watch the news footage is I shop at Walmart a lot uh, we don't have many stores here in this town and so Walmart's a big big um, retailer and you always see people you know when you go there and uh, I go there to buy yarn frequently as you know I've mentioned other videos and and it hurts so much to know that there could have been ladies there just going to buy their yarn um, Saturday and I don't think I can go back I, I really don't it if I do it's gonna be a long time but for now I'm I'm gonna shop elsewhere because I you know I need to I need my supplies and uh, or, or I'll buy online but I just I'm gonna avoid it for quite some time I, I just can't handle it so I mean I watch the news and there's tears streaming down my face I I can't stand it so take a breath and um, I don't know I yeah okay so today I had to go to an appointment in the Phoenix metro area so I usually get to make a stop at a place of my choice <laughs> to, to get my things and today I stopped at Hobby Lobby unfortunately the yarns 30% off I saw on Instagram there was a sweater pattern it's called the painted Canyon sweater and I really it really spoke to me and I haven't made a garment particularly uh, nothing like this a sweater with long you know like a long sleeve sweater in the front and it has a hood I haven't looked at the pattern yet it's a purchase pattern and I need to try to find a source for that but I went ahead and got the yarn because I knew the yarn it was I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby and I've actually had this colorway before um, <laughs> I thought I had it closer to me, but here we are. The colorway for the Painted Canyon is Painted Canyon. So it calls for three skeins, and the, the sizing on the pattern goes anywhere from zero up to multiple X's, so I'm going to see how it goes. It also calls for Graphite, which is a like a dark taupe gray it shows up pretty well there pretty real and then it's got light gray yeah light gray okay so I got two graphites two light grays and three of the painted canyons you can't see it from down there and um, while I was at it I went ahead I saw this Christmas colors I wanted some of this last year and I didn't get it but this is crafters secret I've never used Crafter Secret, but it feels rough like the old Red Heart Super Saver used to. This is called Christmas Print. Um, I just, you know, it was on sale, 30% off, and it's already very expensive, in it, inexpensive anyway. So I thought I'll go ahead and get it, and then I'll have it ready to go because I've been making some pennant, or they call it bunting. Here, I'll move these over here. Um, it's Happy Berry Crochet was doing a summer cowl and she had uh, bunting like there was seven of them 
and she had to take a break because it was too hot in the UK where she's filming um, so she hasn't finished all of them yet but there's I think there's seven up six or seven videos and then she's got uh, she's got one more to do and then she's going to show how to to uh, attach them all together and join them all together but this was one I had so much fun making these there's another one and then there was this one with the strawberries each week it gets a little bit it's it's all about techniques and it's really a fun fun way to learn techniques and this was the last one I did it's tulips so that one uses three colors and then she shows you how to make the tassels and on the tassels I took a comb and and combed them to make them kind of more fuzzy looking or something I've got um, I made two beanies two more beanies on my Addy machine I try to keep a hat going on my Addy all the time so I'll keep using it and keep making when I have a few minutes I can sit down and make some more hats so that I can build up my collection to donate this one was made with um, Ferris wheel sprinkles was the colorway and I thought that came out really pretty the only thing you have to watch out for with these yarns is when you go to close on the Addy when you go to close the ends you have to be careful when you pull if it's a roving type yarn or even the Ferris wheel it shredded when I went to pull because you have to put, put quite a bit of force to close the hole I do to close the hole because you've got so many stitches you're pulling through so I'll probably keep that one for myself because I had a bit of a problem at the end but this one was made with Red Heart Unforgettable in Sunrise and this is the same colorway that I used to make the shawls that I have shown in previous videos that I've now finished it's the same colorway as this shawl and I used I ended up using three skeins for this shawl because I wanted it to be a good size and this one is Red Heart Infallible Cappuccino okay and this one was a cupcake and I can't remember the colorway this is for a child so I didn't I just used one cake and those those are pretty good size so um, I wanted to go ahead and show those because they need to go to their recipients I'm going to be putting those in the mail tomorrow while I was doing all these things I made Jada and Stitches has a big star pillow and so I made this it's so soft it's made with Bernat blanket yarn I need to work on pushing the stuffing out on that end burnout blanket yarn and um, I used one ball of that I think it takes 200 grams to make one I think but anyway ended up I had quite a bit left over I bought two of those big balls thinking that I needed it but I didn't but anyway this is really really soft and I made it for a baby shower the baby's middle name is going to be star so I made her I'm making her a blanket this has to be done by Saturday I think I can do it if I keep going it's I've got two I just finished the second cake and I just came in here to measure it to see how big it is but I've got two cakes of red of uh, not red heart lion brand mandala ombre happy and there's 200 no 344 yards 150 grams in one cake and this is two I'm just finishing the second cake I've got just about a yard left and it is 30 inches 
I just measured it at 30 inches and I want it to be 36 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and start the third cake. I'm using an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going. I was going to stop and think maybe she could use it for um, a car seat cover or something like that. I know when my first grandchild was born, my daughter, I, I didn't know about making baby blankets the first time I'd made one and it was really small. I didn't know. And my daughter said she really appreciated that because it was just right to lay over the car seat to, you know, like to make a protection or to cover her just a little bit. And it wasn't really bulky where it was all over the place. So that, that worked out pretty well. Um, so I kind of took a cue from that. And that pattern that I just showed you for the baby blanket is the um, giant granny square blanket. And it's a free pattern on the Lion Brand website. And Hobby Lobby, put that back before I mix it up. At Hobby Lobby, I also bought some of these clips. And I think these are going to be really handy when I need to high, uh, to clip seams together. I've seen people use this in some of their sewing projects. I thought about getting my sewing machine out and making some bags, but I haven't quite gotten to that point yet. I've been having some um, health issues, and I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to be having um, endoscopy. I ended up having endoscopy colonoscopy on the same day and, and everything came out okay but he said that I had a digestive issue so he put me on what's called a FODMAPS diet it's an elimination diet and you um, it's F as in Frank O D as in dog let's see FODMAPS M like in Mary A P as in Paul. So FODMAP diet, elimination diet. And I didn't know what that was. And he gave me a handout and said, have a nice day. And I thought, oh, okay. Well, it's complicated. Let me tell you, it's like everything that goes in your mouth, you have to read the labels. You can't have hardly any fruit because it's all about carbohydrates. And it's, it's, it got me down a couple of days ago. I thought, this is just, uh, it was, <laughs> I was so discouraged, but I thought, okay, today we ate, um, when we were up in the Phoenix area, we had to eat lunch somewhere and we ate at a um, place called Sweet Tomatoes and they have salad. It's like a big salad bar and they have soup and baked potato and all that stuff. Well, I could have baked potato and I could have some of the salad items. So I ended up doing just fine. Um, you know, it's, it really becomes an obsession because everything I went to buy, I bought some, um, a certain kind of food at the grocery store the other day and I came home and I ate it and I felt terrible. It just made me sick. And I thought, what did I do? And I looked and there was one teeny little thing on the label that was high FODMAPs. We're supposed to be having low FODMAPs. So if there's anybody out there that's watching this, that knows about FODMAPs, please comment below and let me know what your experience is. I'd love to know if there's a bread because it it's gluten free, but it's not because of the gluten. It's not, you know, people that, that have gluten free food are usually people with celiac disease, which thankfully I don't have, but gluten is associated with certain um, fructans or, <laughs> something is a carbohydrate that has to be eliminated in this diet so one of the things that you could can have is sourdough bread just because of the rising process but um, it, it's got to be a certain kind it can't just be sourdough it's got to be sourdough made with sourdough culture and not no other stuff and so I was at the store it took me about 30 minutes to choose one bread that I think I can eat I've done pretty well with but it's it's a, a thing and I have to do it for six weeks but I want to feel better and so I'm I'm motivated to do it so anyway enough of that but if anybody knows anything about it I'd love to know because I just started this last Thursday and today's Monday so 
another thing I got at um, Hobby Lobby was this two pocket scissor sheath. I just saw it as I was after I got my yarn and I thought I'm all about trying to protect my scissors tips because I'm constantly dropping them and the other little pockets right here. But my big new lefty scissors fit in there beautifully. So you know here we are. And I don't think it's going to close. Maybe it doesn't fit beautifully. Okay, so it's not for a full-size pair of scissors. It's going to be for a small pair of scissors. And I didn't think about that. Okay, so my little scissors go in there. And I wouldn't put my snips in there because they're going to poke a hole. See, they don't even want to slide down in there too well. Yeah, the, fa the fabric is like... It's, it's almost feels like canvas or something. I'm not a fabric expert, but it's strong fabric. It doesn't look like anything's gonna poke through very easily. Let me put my little stopper back on here. These, this has been working great. This is the tips for large, protector tips for big knitting needles. And I can, if I'm sitting here working and they're, if the cover's on, I can just squeeze it a little bit and the cover falls off and I can do it with one hand. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also bought some more findings for making stitch markers because I've been making stitch markers. I got some gold toned jump rings and some larger um, lobster claws gold because some of my little charms were gold and I bought these at a, a, over a week ago. I went to Walmart and I found these gold ones and they aren't very gold. It's like I, they looked gold in the store and then when I got home and put them together with an actual gold little charm, it doesn't look quite right. So I might take those apart and redo those now that I have the proper thing. I bought these, these were $2.99 but everything was 50% off, these little arrows. My husband's into archery and so I was for a while. So I saw those arrows. I, I made a little stitch marker thing the other day that had a charm on it that had a little horn or something. And I put it on his keychain. He liked that. I couldn't believe it. He let me do that. <laughs> He's pretty picky. But um, then I got these because, you know, where I live, I have to have stuff like this. It's just one of those things, Southwest. And then I bought the these um, kind of bronzy looking jump rings and lobster claws to match. Some of my other charms needed that and I didn't have it. And see how it looks when you use the silver with it. I don't know if you can see it that well. But it's going to look a lot better if I match the, the, the metal color. I think I made a whole bunch of stitch markers. They're all in here. I'm not going to get them all out. But they're all, they're an assortment of um, charms that I've kind of collected in little packages that I buy along. It's a fish. Then I, I uh, had gotten this at Joanne, this mermaid tail, and I had a big pearl and I put a little starfish on there and put a big clip on there and I thought that it could be a nice purse charm or a backpack buddy. So I'm not sure who's getting that. I might just keep it. I kind of like stuff like that too. Um, my previous to the tragedy Walmart trip, I bought these. I love the sugar skull themes. I got a, a whole bunch of things in my house that are that that theme. I have a blanket and some things on the wall. I've got candles and. Oh, all kinds of little things. So I, I like these. It's kind of a part of the culture around here um, during Dia de los Muertos, which is around Halloween time, Day of the Dead. But I keep them up all year because I like them. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's all I wanted to show you. Well, I'll show you this. I started this, um, another shawl in loops and threads, facets, stone, facet stones in malachite. 
and it's definitely a roving kind of yarn but I started another of my virus shawls I really love I have not found a shawl pattern that makes me want to jump into it yet so I'm just gonna keep making those because why not right I have this Yarnado that I've had for a long time. Um, I bought it at Joanne a long time ago. It's got 187 yards. It's 100% acrylic, and this is called Thunderstorm. And uh, they're all like the Yarnado line has storm names like Hurricane, Thunderstorm, Tornado, all that stuff. So I got Thunderstorm, and I think I'll probably just use this to make um, a hat on the Addy. Um, the Addy took the, um, in Unforgettable. I couldn't believe it. It did not drop one stitch on this hat. I sat there and watched it like a hawk. Of course I do with every stitch that goes around there because I've had an issue with it before dropping stitches. It just does that. That's just the nature of it. But, um, yeah, but it did really well with it. So sorry if I seem a little off but just this whole thing's got me a little bit rattled <laughs> so anyway I hope everybody's doing well having a nice summer the monsoon hasn't really come yet it was supposed to be here a long time ago so we're still waiting for a good rain we've had a couple little showers that just enough to get the windshields dirty and that's about it so today it was 112 I think so I haven't been going outside very much. So I've just been kind of working on this blanket, doing my thing. I realized that I've my yarn's now out of control again. I had everything straight and my happy place in here was doing really well. But now my collection has increased. And now I've got, <laughs> I don't want to show you all that. I've got like two containers on the floor that have my newest acquisitions in there and I I really need to figure out how I'm gonna do this I think what I might do is de-stash I, I think it's time to do some de-stashing I mean just you know work more with the yarns that I'm enjoying I love to work with lots of different kinds but there's so many new yarns now that you know you see them and you go "Ooh, I have to try that and then you know I end up going a little crazy I did buy um, at my last I, I went to Walmart before the tragedy this was like several days ago um, before that happened and I was going to make a shawl with using the um, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre so I ended up buying the Spearmint. I really wanted Blutiful, but they didn't have it and it's really hard to find. And I got this for a contrast color, it's minty. They had Puzzle Yarn. Um, I think I've already bought one Puzzle Yarn over there, but this one's 100% acrylic, it's by Premier Yarns. This colorway is dominoes now why would they call this dominoes this looks nothing like dominoes are black and white why'd they do that I don't know but I bought two of those so that I could make a shawl I'm all about shawls still I haven't gotten burned down on it yet but I hope that I don't <laughs> use up all this yarn so anyway we'll see this red heart super saver ombre the spearmint one um it's let's see it's 10 ounces 482 yards this was going to be for a, um, a preteen child and I think one skein might be fine for that I bought the contrast color just in case I needed to fill in see how that turns out but other than that I'll get out of here and uh, get back to that blanket I'm gonna go ahead and add another skein and probably won't I'll, I'll only use about half of it so let's just say two and a half cakes for the baby blanket I was surprised it didn't go as far any farther than it did but that's okay I think because I'm using maybe a bigger hook I don't know 
I, I'm not good at figuring out how much yarn I need <laughs> for um, a project. I'm, I never really paid much attention to that because the projects I made, it didn't matter. And I never made a big thing, but now that I'm making shawls, I'm now looking at yardage. So, yeah. I may have to make one of these for myself. That's pretty handy. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.